put the bomb in the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. Who put the ram in the ram, a lamb, a ding dong? Who put the bop in the bop, shabop, shabop? Who put the dip in the dip, dip, dip? Hey, hey, welcome to Half the Battle. I'm back from vacation and we're continuing our look at small vehicles and playsets. And today, I've got one that I have a weird history with. Meet the Weapon Transport. This vehicle was released in 1985 with all original parts. Well, in the USA anyway, not in Belgium. This is what I mean by weird history. You see, this toy never came out here at retail. It did, however, come out as a mail order from the G.I. Joe Club, Hasbro Europe's mail order service. So, for years and years, I thought they made this little vehicle specifically for mail order, like Hooded Cobra Commander and other toys. It wasn't until I started getting into collecting and the internet got invented that I found out this had just been a retail toy originally. I have to say, it did make the weapon transport a little less special in my eyes. But let's put that aside and look at the thing objectively. Well, as objectively as I get, anyway. And this is kinda a strange little vehicle. It's not a combat vehicle, yet it has a gun. It comes with a little trailer that has a bomb, but it's not called a bomb transport. Instead, it's the more generic weapon transport. It looks like it should just be used at an airstrip arming Sky Strikers or Conquests. The thing looks a bit goofy, but not in an unrealistic way. You could definitely picture this in the real-life military, though probably without the gun. Another bit of weirdness are the pegs that connect the transport to the little trailer. There's one on the back, which seems logical, but also one on the front. To, what, push a bomb? By the way, these pegs are about the size of the ones used on figure stands and other vehicles to hold figures, so you could use them like that to balance Joes on there, though it looks weird as hell. Oh, and the trailer has a peg of its own, so if you had more than one, you could make a little train. I'm guessing these extra pegs were there because maybe they had planned to make more trailers with other vehicles that made use of them, so you could swap them out or make those little trains. But as far as I know, this is the only toy that used them. There's also a peg on the top of the thing for some damn reason to add to the weirdness. All this invokes is the Joes having a really drunk dance party on the thing. And it's not exactly the kind of vehicle they'd storm into battle with. I mean, they could, but I'd still leave the bomb at home in that case. That's just too juicy a target. Since, like I said, it's strictly a support vehicle for on base, I could see it helping defend the base in case of attack, but still without the bomb. Unless there's an opportunity to roll the trailer down a hill at Cobra. Like with the battle stations we've looked at earlier, the detailing isn't lacking on this small toy either. Lots of little things are molded into the plastic, it even has a little gearbox. The stickers are nice too, headlights, red and white warning strips, they all really add to the look. Unfortunately, even for such a small toy, there's plenty of parts that can get lost, and so making it a pain in the ass to find complete on the secondary market. The most obvious thing, of course, is the little trailer and bomb. A bomb that is itself removable, by the way, so that's double trouble. Though it is nice the bomb has an opening so that you can actually attach it to G.I. Joe planes. Next is the gun, which is surprisingly also removable. On the one hand, that's good since a figure can hold it. On the other hand, that's bad since it will get lost that way. Even more surprising, the steering wheel is removable. Probably because that way it can actually move. Does make it very easy to lose though. Lastly, there's something you can't see here because I don't freaking have it. An antenna. This seems to be the most easy to lose, as I've never seen one on the secondary market, and I'm not even convinced my original mail order one from childhood came with one. So yeah, the weapon transport can be a frustrating little bastard for collectors. My overall opinion on this toy, it's... um... alright? I mean, it looks fine in the background of dioramas, or under a plane on your shelf, 
but it wouldn't make or break any collection. With that, let's go to the freeze frame gag and discuss the character. Though you're not gonna be getting much. Since I never saw this thing in the cartoon or comics, that really only leaves us with the packaging. It has blowtorch driving it for some reason. Doesn't seem to be the safest choice having the guy that sets things on fire drive a bomb somewhere. Also, the back shows an action scene. The transport is driving into battle, firing its gun, with the little trailer worryingly wobbling behind. The Joes have never heard of OSHA, have they? I was assuming this scene was one of those defend the base scenarios, but the back of the box quickly punishes my optimism. It happily clarifies that the weapon transport is supposed to drive off into the field to help set up defenses against Cobra. So yes, this thing is meant to Leroy Jenkins its way into battle. One could be forgiven for wondering how a single bomb that's obviously meant for an aircraft would contribute to field defenses against Cobra in any shape or form. No wonder Blowtorch looks so pissed here. If you want my conclusion of the um, character, it's uh, somewhat flawed. And that was the weapon transport. As a toy, it's... Um, okay, I suppose. Nothing special. While in-universe, it's somewhat confusing. You might want this in your collection as part of the background or something, but I wouldn't go out of my way to look for it, and definitely don't spend too much money on this one. And also remember, getting a complete one is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'll see you next time, everybody! And hey, why not like, share and subscribe if that's your thing? Who put the dip in the dip, 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 who was that man?